Sure. Snow may have had you homebound last weekend, but the forecast has cleared, and Dick and Dave are joining us with the cure for your cabin fever. Dick, of course, is the bearded baron of fun from the Brooklyn Reader. <laughs> Hello. And blogger Dave Cologne is the online oracle of good times. Welcome, wow. gents. Okay. Yeah. So now, if you just had to escape the cold for a few days, you probably hop in the car and take the 95 south until you hit somewhere sunny. But if you can't get away right now, you can still get to 95 south. We're talking, of course, about the bar on Franklin Avenue. Also joining us is bartender Geneva de Abreu. Jennifer. Jennifer. Oh, my goodness. Geneva was in we had a Geneva. Before. I was so worried about saying her last name correctly <laughs> that I was completely whiffed. <laughs> Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. I haven't had my drink yet. She's going to mix us up. You might right. notice our mugs are missing, right? Because Jennifer's going to hook us up with a Cadillac margarita. Welcome. Ooh, thank you. I like that. Apologies. I like that. Apologies. Nice, nice. It's okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> so tell us about, before we get to these guys, about uh, the bar. Um, so it's a family-owned business. Uh, it's actually owned by nice. my uncle, James Walker. Yeah. Um, right. The building was actually in our family for decades, um, and it was actually a fish market years ago, and my uncle just chose to make a restaurant. Got about the smell out. Yeah, yeah, we got it out maybe like 10 years, we, it's that. Um, so he created the restaurant in 2007. Um, yeah. We started off more of, of a bar lounge, and now we're doing more of the restaurant food. Um, so we do like a Southern Caribbean fusion. Um, so the food is awesome, and the drinks are even better. All right. Uh, very strong yeah. drinks. Franklin. Can you tell the chef? Yes, Franklin uh, between St. John's and Lincoln. We're okay. right next to uh, the Franklin 2345 line. All right, you can yeah. stumble to the train on your way home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of stumbling out of places, yeah. <laughs> are we going to start with you, Mr. Colon? Uh, are we? Uh, but anyway, so you can also, but if you do want to go out and go to a, you know, a venue or something, uh, you can go to Palisades in Bushwick, yeah. right under the J train. Uh, very uh, beautiful uh, uh, site. Um, but you can go to. Uh, they're doing like a music video uh, night, Audio so they're going to be showing over 20 music videos. Uh, there's going to be a Kung Fu Crime Wave. It's a great band name. I like those guys. It's going to be there you go. So they're they're performing, mm -hmm. uh, and they're also going to show their new video, which was shot on the Jersey Shore uh, in the winter. Which I've been there in the winter before, and it's it's serene. Yeah, right? it's really yeah. crazy. It's, it's very the exact quiet. Exact opposite from GTO. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> so they'll be doing that, uh, and they'll be. Um, a bunch of uh, music video makers, uh, people who, who've made the videos, so you can ask them questions and oh. you can mingle and stuff and ask them about how they made it. It's kind of like a retrospective of the entire art form. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so if you thought the music video was dead because we all watch it on YouTube now instead of uh, you know, MTV, go with your pitch. TRL3, uh, yeah, exactly. Go find a director. Right. Okay, Beat the Show is what? Is that Saturday? I can't even say. Yeah. Um, Saturday, yeah. It's Saturday. Um, and be the show is like it's one. Of, it's like a circus in a sort of smaller venue. Mm. Um, so it has like fire eaters and you know folks you know swallowing swords and uh, you know and it, I think the um, and a pool of hoops. Yeah, and it's and it's a bunch of it's it's one of those kind of you know prepare for just everything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Sort of a night's out. Um, and I know that you know they also because I, I like the the whole antique roadshow kind of connotation. Yeah. I never watched that show, but I always imagine it's just like creepy. Yeah, it's not creepy. I mean, it's just like, old people. Yeah, they're fine. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Monday night television. Is well, horrible. Brian surprisingly knows all about the antique roadshow. You show, would imagine Brian. the crap and how much it's worth. <laughs> right. You would never bring in your house, and it's like worth a million You're bucks. Like, yes. This right. is why I'm resigned to be poor the rest of my life. So, there you go. There that you go. Is too good. There you go. Don't don't find anything in the attic. But yeah, that, that's Saturday at um, at Bazaar, uh, Bishop Bazaar on uh, Jefferson Street. Before we go oh. into this next thing, I see some margaritas happening over here. So what exactly does a Cadillac margarita entail? Um, so it's just a basic margarita, mm -hmm. but we spice it up a bit. We add a little uh, Grand Marnier in it, um, and that's uh, orange liqueur. So you don't yes. have to add like triple sec or any sour yeah. mix. Yes, yeah, nice. so it's good. pretty good. It's that's really strong. <laughs> Very cool. It looks like you guys it's are gonna love it. Ready. We're gonna love it. I've been to Colón. So what are we looking at? Uh, so you Ooh. could meet your neighbors, 
uh, if you live in Crown Heights, I know everyone wants to meet their neighbors. <laughs> but if even if you are kind of grumpy, so well, the, the general, you know, the neighborhood neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you're right. You, you can, can always expand. Right. Can always expand. But you also, even if you are a grump, uh, there's free <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> That makes smiles. So yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you know, you'll you'll have to talk to people and share your stories because it's all about the. Uh, if, if you know about the, uh, we are Crown Heights. It's the uh, attempt by uh, Rusty Zimmerman, I think is the guy's name, and mm -hmm. he's trying to paint 200 oil portraits of people who live oh, in Crown Heights right now. Uh, so oh. he's halfway there. He's on 100. So he's going to talk about it a little bit, and people are going to share their That's stories cool. about living in Crown Heights, and there'll be soup and there'll be ice cream. Uh, so, you know, Super that's... ice cream. Yeah, well, I mean, you know... Babies I mean, you, and tonsil removed. Depending on how you're feeling <laughs> yeah. that day. You can have some soup and then you can, can have some... Both. I don't know, yeah. There's no, uh... Right. It's gonna be two degrees out according to that thing, so you might want some... Ooh, some soup. Wow. I don't know if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. I, I don't know what... I don't know. Kind of weird. Let's say it's Celsius. Uh, Sounds very Celsius. Okay, so if it's Celsius, then, you know, but it'll still be kind of cold enough for, yeah. for soup. And if you're nice, if you're nice to someone, you might get their Netflix password. Ooh. Or that, wow. yes, exactly. You know, exactly. that's so neighborly. Go, that's very go, neighborly. Go trying to get like a Netflix or Spotify premium password, right. or Amazon Prime. Right. Uh, so you can watch Transparent or uh, exactly. You know, or that new Chelsea title Handler password. Thing. Hear the new Rihanna right. album. She's been all over. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh my God. So anyway. so that should be fun. There's some stories. Okay. It does um, look nice. Great. Yes. This is a series. This is really dope because um, you guys are familiar with Brooklyn Gypsies? No. Um, well, uh, they're like a, a, the, a theatrical yeah, production we're company. Yeah, familiar with them, Joleros. I was about to say yeah. Flacco was here when yes. they were doing Joleros. Oh, really? Yes. yes. So yeah, this whole situation is that Jack, which obviously every time I say Jack, someone goes, oh my God, you know they won an award, right? So it's like, oh my God, you know Jack won an award. Um, so it's a series of one man, of one person. Mm -hmm. Um, shows yeah. um, that incorporate music and like theater and like a lot of these uh, one act shows have been in a variety of different festivals like the French Festival or they've been like in Minneapolis right. right they've traveled the country um, and it actually started yesterday mm -hmm. so it's Thursday and I mean, it's Friday and Saturday left and for fifteen dollars you get one show for twenty dollars you get three shows yeah wow and I don't think that's something you can pass up because those those you know the the last trip to Brooklyn I, I've looked and that's gotten a bunch of really great reviews mm -hmm. um, and going into my beard yeah. has also gotten a, a bunch of great reviews <laughs> so I don't think that anyone should pass that up that's an amazing deal you shouldn't just go out and get drunk and party and throw <laughs> no. up in the street and eat yeah. tacos and stuff like that maybe not in that order but you should definitely go and do some theater as well because it's enriching and you have something to talk about next time you're at a cocktail party. The MacArthur Award mm, winner. Geez. Exactly. Certified geniuses over at Jack, and we love Flaco Jimenez wow. here. Exactly. That was a great yeah. guest. He's coming for me. He's growing his hair out, he told me. <laughs> so I'm here, so here. Watching <laughs> exactly. Tell him you don't come for the chief. The chief come for you. Listen, so how we doing over here, Jennifer? Huh? Here we go. Oh, we, boy. Let's see how you guys like those. Let's we'll see what she <laughs> did to my drink since I called it Geneva. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got the bad one. Him not, bad if you're not one. off mid segment, no, <laughs> we'll no know. Bad you go first, there. B. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'll wait for Captain Good Times over here as well. Morning. They may be a little strong for the morning, but uh, that listen. is. But it's not the morning. <laughs> it's a it's good morning. Our jobs are almost over. over. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it smells Thank like grandma. You're very welcome. Speak grandma for yourself. Cadillac. Speaking really? of theater, yeah. I go on she had tonight. A big old Cadillac. Was it pink? No, it had a red interior, if I remember correctly. All the right. red mm -hmm. leather. To Dave's grandma. Okay, there sure. You go. And grandma Flo. Cadillac. <laughs> grandma Flo. Who okay. had a Cadillac? Oh. What else? Oh. All right. Good. And a Cadillac. You ever notice how Cadillac commercials exclusively have black people in them now? It's about damn time. It's like Cadillac commercials always. I was like, do white folks drive Cadillacs anymore? Yeah. If they live in black neighborhoods, they do. Exactly. <laughs> and then she went to Jackson Woo. Heights and she sold it in like the 80s. She just stood on the corner. And, Who wants to buy this car? Really? <laughs> yes, that was a story and I didn't know. Was so Jackson right Heights, she lived there. I think that she, she had like a weird racist idea that like black people, people would buy. Uh, right, yeah. right, right, right. To Dave's theory. Right. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Right, so right, there you right. go. She maybe it was all because she's ahead of the curve. She's ahead of the curve. She might have started it. I don't. I can't put anything past her. 
I know she works for she works in the ad agency yeah. right now. I didn't I didn't know about that until the funeral. Good to work wow. over here. Oh yeah. Jennifer. I'm not <laughs> mad at you. I'm <laughs> 95 South. Get Do out there and get the margarita. Catalog? Um, no, it's actually a famous margarita. Yeah. So it comes in uh, Cadillac margarita if you like really? Google it. But um, Yeah, I knew right. that, but I didn't know why it was called that. Yeah. So you know what? This 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 version in the, the Kale and Quinoa set is probably going to be called the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Kale and Quinoa. It's the Prius of drinks. It's the Prius of drinks. <laughs> but it's Prius very, very salad. Fun. That's a good yeah. thing. So Ooh. we're going to go to McCarran Hotel and Pool. Yeah, and, uh, is the pool still open? That is a good question. I doubt it because it's, it's an outdoor on the roof. pool. Yeah, right. Uh, but who cares about the pool when you can go to a fun dance party uh, with some great DJs? Um, it's uh, Bikes in the Kitchen, uh, they're like a uh, promotion uh, people, I think, uh, and they're one of their DJs, uh, Scott Carlos. There's gonna be Alex Levine from uh, the Soso Glows is gonna be there too. Mm. Uh, they just got a new song out, so I'm sure they're gonna be. He's going to be hyped to DJ well. Uh, it's the first the time that they're brothers. doing this, uh, one night yeah. only. It's featured on Neighborhood Beat here at Brick TV. So, so close. Oh, yeah. Nice. oh, yeah, they're great. Can't, nice. can't say uh, enough uh, good things about them. So you can go uh, see how well one of them is at DJing. Uh, but even if he's not good, which I doubt would be the case, there are uh, three more DJs. It's going to be oh, a big wow. rock and roll dance party uh, Saturday night. Great way to spend a Saturday night. Awesome. And it's free. Free. I love that totally it was free. free. One no, night no. only and then new monthly dance party. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta one night only this but month. Once a month. One night only this, this month. month. The first and, and that's day. not bad. That's cool. <laughs> I'm in the monthlies. So how do you make a virgin margarita? Is that a thing or is it just There's some no old way. lime juice? There's yeah, no way to make a virgin old. margarita. Yeah, it's just lime juice you'll be asking for. And I believe Triple Tech has some sort of alcohol in it as well. So right. there's no way at There's all. no virginity. So can Good you suggest a pairing for our margarita, if we were Ooh, out yeah. at the route yeah. tonight, what would you suggest? Oh, Any events so coming many. up? Maybe well, we Super Bowl, know? yes. Um, yeah. Super What's Bowl that? is the next. Um, <laughs> well, usually on Sundays we do brunch and football. Mm. Um, so the next thing is uh, Super Bowl, and we literally have people hanging outside the door. That's how packed it is. Um, and we always do like a special bottle of beers, two for five, the whole Super Bowl, and five dollar right. drafts. And we'll probably have like food and stuff this time, maybe right, a buffet. Right. Right. So everyone can like just eat and just drink and have fun. Is that yeah. this Sunday for those of us who have no, no idea February what's 7th. happening? No, next Sunday. Sunday. February the next 7th Sunday, Sunday, yeah. February 7th. So this is the Sunday, big game. Put me in, coach. That's true. We have to Put refer to coach. it as the big game where the NFL will sue us. Really? And then, yes. uh, once again, 95 South, so conveniently located, you can just stumble your way to the subway. <laughs> yeah. Right. Get home safely exactly. in time for BK Live on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> It's a night. It's more, more of a night game as well. So you, you definitely, you might not even need to go out. You could just like do that and then just call right. it a night. We got four minutes of self love. What's happening okay. at this open house? Oh well, self love. Although it can sound like something that um, is a little risque, but it's literally something that you do <gasps> that is just healing yourself, and, yeah. and it's free. It's it's at um, the right. Sacred Arts Research Foundation, um, and they give uh, a like normally they, they charge money mm -hmm. to. Uh, for you to go and attend and to get some sort of, uh, you know, some learning about all these self-healing techniques. Gotcha. But they're kind of reaching out to the community, um, to Brooklyn, and to, like, as well, like, introduce themselves to, the, to Brooklyn. So, yeah. so they're having all these freaking, like, you can, like, sound healing, shamanic healing, Reiki, meditation. You can do, like, when you leave there, like, you, you can just they? go to the top of uh, Himalaya Mountain. Where is the place? Um, you know what? The address is not on there, but it's in Red Hook. Okay. Okay. Can take the, uh, you can address. check. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The BK Reader. Just go, go to the, yeah, yeah, go to Sacred Arts Research Foundation. Okay. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Colon. Uh, if you want to go to a rock and roll show on Friday, it's like a Friday night thing to do. You go to Shea Very Stadium. Fun. Which you know, Soso Glows helped open. They're just all over this uh, weekend. <laughs> uh, and uh, wow. Future Punks will be headlining. And I mean. If you want to tell me that you think that things, something can go wrong if you go somewhere where they have a giant keytar, <laughs> I am going to disagree with you. Incorrect. Uh, I think that actually <laughs> a giant keytar is a pretty That's amazing. good indicator that you're going to have a great time. Uh, future punks, they're fun. They're like, uh, it's not quite punk. It's like weird, kind of robotic, new mm -hmm. wavy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's strange. Hence the X. Yeah, exactly. So we exactly. Have two more so, offerings for the weekend. Am I right? 
All right. Ooh. Oh yeah. So this is this is this is very straightforward. This is Spinner's birthday party. You oh, know, Spinner yeah. of Spinner Michael Jackson versus show. Prince. Yeah. Him of um, the the wonderful Stevie Wonder party. Um, he's having a birthday mm. celebration. Him also. He's a great producer. This is gonna be like this is really simple. Go there and dance your tail off. And come on, everybody. And come on, everybody. Which come we're going on. To anyway. come yeah. on. Okay. They're come a neighbor on. on. Yeah, 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 next yeah, Saturday, exactly. January 30th. Spinner is a, he, he's not only a dope DJ and a mm -hmm. producer, but he's a really he's dope a good dude. Guy. Good guy. So, yeah. like, definitely go there if you want to dance on Saturday. Spinner's I recommend it. seat and in our ballroom spinning right. as well. We right. love Spinner here. Yeah, he's a good dude. Always want to dance. Um, so Who are these up? guys? So, I guess they didn't. Uh, it's the Beatles. Ah, the Beatles. When I say that, you can ah. you can learn uh, at Unnameable Books on Sunday. Oh yeah, the dirty Beatle thing, right? The yeah, like the darker side of the right. Beatles, and they specifically said in the event, mm -hmm. this is not about uh, the like weird Illuminati conspiracies or Paul is dead. It's actually kind of a more historical. Like here's the. Uh, bad things that the Beatles have have done, the dark mm. sides of their lives and their rise to fame. Uh, so I don't know if that's like mm. John Never beat his wife him. or it's going to be more like weird deals that they had to make when they were coming up in, you know, yeah. post-war Europe. other people's lyrics. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's, you never know. But, uh, it's in a basement as well, right? Uh, it's in it's at Unnamed Books. I, I haven't been to an event there ever, but I would right. trust that if they're gonna say, you know, it's the dark side of the Beatles, they're not gonna screw yeah. around uh, and you know. Right. It's gonna get so. say like one of them was mean to their grandma once. Right. I mean, yeah, right. it's gonna be this might be our last uh, little event at the Bell House. At the Bell House, yes. Um and this I think I believe on um Saturday. Uh -huh. um, this is Stand Up for 826 NYC. 826 NYC is a program that gives kind of like, you know, sort of artistic education to kids, um, like writing and acting yeah, and music. Dave Eggers thing, right? Yes. We're all for the arts. Oh. And um, so this Famous is going to be a, um, a huge uh, stand up benefit. Really? Um, to raise money so that that situation can still become and remain, maintain a situation. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, hmm. um, the, I didn't send the asset with the names of the comedians. Well, but there's a bunch of freaking great comedians on this show. Really Bro, I just flew into Brooklyn and boy, am I on style. Well, so, we yeah. can't oh, have stand up without. Oh, <laughs> stand up ah, Brooklyn with Greg I Johnson died. is on the network as well. If you haven't seen Stand Up Brooklyn, we urge you, we implore you to right. check it out on Brick. Right. So we're 20 seconds away from finishing. Uh, Geneva, just give us the location. Jennifer. That might, Jennifer you love that name for me. You have to call you Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> you got a new it's name. Fine. You got. It's fine. Has renamed you. That's gonna be on the highlight reel for this sure year. How he finds Geneva for Woof. Jennifer, but it's fine. Thank you, thank you, Put thank me out of my misery and read some things. Is that a version of Jennifer? Okay.